if you are watching me that means you can subscribe why are you not subscribing <laughs> hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel i'm really excited about this video because i haven't recorded in so long yeah i know i've been very consistent with my videos and i post every week usually on tuesdays and wednesdays but uh, all those videos have been actually pre-recorded so i haven't really sat behind the camera for a very long time now yeah so welcome if you're new here welcome to this channel my name is abna Dankwa, and yeah as you can see from the title today's video is going to be an assumption video and throughout the video you're probably going to be seeing me like dabbing because my eyes have not stopped watering ever since i finished doing my makeup yeah it kind of happens to me all the time when i put on makeup but yeah you know <laughs> decided to change it up a bit because you guys have been getting used to my face i've been coming on here looking like a bum I have all the questions on my laptop so yeah let's get into it i asked my followers some assumptions they have of me so if you're not following me i'm gonna put my social media handles up here down up somewhere on the screen yeah so you can follow me on instagram or on snapchat or on facebook these were the areas i actually asked people questions so if you're wondering when i did this <laughs> Don't worry and i think it's been like three months since i asked these questions but i haven't gotten time to record any so i'm pretty happy that i can do it now to make it easy i kind of asked some questions and i gave um, possible answers so i did ask people to guess my favorite game and a lot of you thought that i like monopoly for some reason i don't i like monopoly but i get like emotionally invested and so yeah i some friendships have gone down because of Monopoly, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so my favorite game is actually Scrabble. I love word games. Now, I have been playing words with friends with total strangers on Facebook for, I think, since last year. I'm having the time of my life. So I really enjoy word games. So yeah, I ask people, what is my favorite past time? Like, what I do during my free time? And a lot of you chose reading. I actually enjoy reading but because my master's degree is theory heavy I am always like bombarded with a lot of readings <laughs> so when I have the time I try to do things that I know like that do not require me to use like my brain <laughs> But currently, I am reading um, things I wish I had known before we got married and then Michael Todd's relationship goals. I don't know if you can see it. Yep. But my free time, I enjoy watching YouTube videos and I have been obsessed lately with um, Amazon finds, like things you didn't know you could get on Amazon. Something like that, those videos where people are just buying. <laughs> I really enjoy it. Yeah, so that's it. I asked people that what do you think I wanted to be when I was a child? And majority, I gave the answers as an engineer, chef, musician, and pharmacist. Don't worry, I'm gonna post the, the box somewhere here so that you can see the question. And a lot of you thought I wanted to be an engineer. So, you know, I'm wondering like, did you guys watch my get to know me tag video? Because I did clearly state over there that I wanted to be a pharmacist. So I'm going to tag that video here so that you can go and watch it again, you know, a refresher. Hmm. Hmm. How many kids do you think I, I want? I asked people and a lot of you were saying five, like five kids. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Abna. And nine. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. And no. Hey, hey, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. That's how we say the numbers in three, by the way. 
I don't know if I kids, you know, like we are trying to care population growth here, you know, like projections are showing that population might increase to around 9.6 million in 2050. And I don't want to contribute to this, you know, the earth carrying capacity is at stake and we're trying to care population growth as much as possible so that we can leave something for our future generation in sustainable development. Yeah, so I'm not gonna have five kids. Why would I? Because I'm trying to help the environment. I'm gonna have six. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna have two kids, yeah. Yeah, I just want two kids, a boy and a girl. God willing, God, God willing, you know. We don't make this Okay, kids. so the next question was, if I could have any superpower, what would it be? And yeah, majority of you got it wrong. It got it right, I mean, I think probably because you all want that power as well, which is to read minds. Because sometimes I really want to know like what people are thinking. Like, I'm in the process now of looking for jobs, you know. I'm applying. And imagine like being at an interview and like, are they listening to me or they are thinking of something else? Hmm. Just having that power to read people's minds will be like, ha, huh, you can know who you should pick as a friend, as a partner. Like, imagine the endless possibilities. But well, yeah. Would I rather be 10 minutes late or 20 minutes early? Yeah, you got it right. I'm going to be 20 minutes early. I don't like being late. Not sometimes I'm quite late, but I don't like being late. That that thing, Ganaman time, it doesn't exist in this apartment. Hmm? It's polite to be early, okay, guys? Don't... Ghanians like being late. When you... Ah, when you have, you're having a party and then you're like, the, it will start at seven and then it will actually start at nine weddings funerals everything but if you're going to passport office for visa or something that one you'll be there at 5 a.m when they say 10. actually it applies to me too you know i'll be in the queue i'll i'll camp there <laughs> viewers <laughs> <laughs> you will be back. <laughs> yeah, I asked people ideally how would I spend my birthday? And majority of you actually got it right, which means that some of you know me. Yeah, I would usually spend it at home on my birthday in September and yeah, I just stayed at home and watched movies. I don't know. I used to really enjoy celebrating my birthday, but something just, just changed and then now I just enjoy being at home, so... Yeah. Oh my god. Worst date experience. Uh, you both got it wrong. And yeah, the answer was he was constantly talking about himself. Let me know in the comments, um, comment down below whether you want me to give a story time about this, because... <laughs> The person is subscribed to my channel by the way so you're just gonna you give him another name or something like that but let me know if you want to hear the story <laughs> something that you guys would never guess about me i talk in my sleep i've been told quite a number of times and also my housemate confirmed when I put this on my Instagram, she was like, yeah, yeah, you do. Sometimes I'll hear you mumble something and then you just go back to bed. And I was like, huh. I actually do not know what I say, but I'm very aware of this, that I talk in my sleep. So. And some other assumptions that you people said, somebody was like, you are secretly engaged. Engaged to who? Someone said you seem like a nice person. I am actually. I mean, I would like to think that I am. It depends on the day that you catch me. Anyway. Sometimes. Ah, uh, yeah. Another assumption that somebody said is, "I, uh, you come from a rich home." Please, what's your definition of rich? Hey, there's money and there's money. You gotta, you gotta be specific. 
I wouldn't necessarily say that I come from a rich family. I would like to say that God has really blessed us and my parents and my siblings are doing quite well for themselves by God's grace. You know, let's just take a minute to have a praise dance. I remember when I was going to senior high school, I think that one of the major advice that my mom gave me was that I should remember where I'm coming from. I should look at my house. I shouldn't be going to school and pretending to be something that I'm not because we, we are only hanging on by the grace of God. So yeah, I think that as I, as I think about the years, over the years, I see how God has continuously blessed my family and the fact that God has given me the opportunity to even come and have my master's here, you know, not on scholarship, my parents, funding my living expense, you know, I'm, I'm, I like good things. <laughs> yeah, I'm just grateful. That's all I gotta say. And then another person said I'm a daddy's girl. Actually, I am, you know. I think that my father up to now, I don't even think he knows how old I am. I remember two years ago, I was working somewhere with him. It's not two years, maybe two, three, four, five or six years ago. One of the years. You get it. I was going somewhere with him and I was old enough, you know, but we we're crossing the street and he just grabbed me by the hand and we crossed. And I was like... Okay. Yeah, a lot of people would agree. I think I am a daddy's girl because I enjoy the conversations that I have with him. He's very funny. And yeah, he's a great guy, great dude, he's a great dude. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Somebody said, we are bougie. We are bougie means like you are bougie because we are is how we say you are in tree. But no, I'm not bougie. I like, I like to, I like good things, like I like enjoyment. Everybody likes enjoy. I'm not bush, I'm a very simple chick, you know. I don't even am I lying or not? I don't know. I mean I don't even have money to be bougie, so maybe my bank account is what is determining whether I'm bougie or not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's there, the tendencies are there, but they haven't been fully developed because of financial crisis. But watch out. I think I'm done with the assumptions. These are the ones that I could collect from my archives because you know, it's been a while since I asked these questions. And let me know if you would like to see another assumption video. And uh, this was very fun actually. And I'm happy that I have this YouTube channel and talk to you guys. And it's been very great. I've actually made some new friends and I'm talking to people from all over the world. And it's been very interesting, you know, and I'm really enjoying myself. I'm glad I did it, actually. I'm really happy I did. So thanks guys for watching this video to the end. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe. I'm getting a lot of views, but it's not corresponding with the subscription. Like, I don't know whether somebody likes you that they pay money or there's a monthly subscription fee that you have to. Please don't let them like. It's for free. It's for free. You don't need a degree. You don't need this. You are watching me. That means you can subscribe. <laughs> Why are you not subscribing? Please subscribe, like the videos, and please share the videos. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Take care. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Bye.